heading southbound on the street parallel with Topanga Canyon toward Warner Center Park. Earlier call here for a 415 woman uh, locked in a stall in the restroom, ladies room, and a repeat offender. It's called Vassar Avenue I'm on. Generally quiet. I can turn this even rush hour sometimes. Keep your eyes peeled though. And do we have uh, police here? Yes, we do. Okay, it's her. I filmed a woman here. I should check it. I filmed a woman who locked herself in there and was aggressively kicking other people out. Police came. I saw her leave and push a cart around this park. So we're at Warner Center Park. It's about 3.30. Police responded to a call of a woman who locked herself in a stall here, apparently homeless, um, transient, because uh, the report said that she's a re repeat offender. We have here a lot of kids and sports. They can't use the restroom. If this is the same woman, she aggressively kicks other people out. Maybe showers in there, etc. Understand the difficulty of it, believe me from her point of view. Now the police are talking to her here. And it's a loud talking. She's screaming. I'm not, you notice I'm not zooming in on her. I'm just showing you that the police are responding to this uh, again, according to the report. I hear her screaming. The woman's very upset. She wants to be left alone, I'm gathering. And you know when I see these things, I just report what I see and what I feel and what I think is going on. Miriam, I think she called him. He called her. There is a warrant for her arrest, I heard him say. So, her life is difficult. Uh, they could be they could be uh, refusing help, which is a problem. People get comfortable in their little world. Uh, we all do. And sometimes we're in other people's space. You hear him talking here. It's really yelling at her. I'm looking over to the side here. I see uh, woman's lacrosse. No, it's the little one. It's the one with the. Well, it's not lacrosse. But I'm not gonna. Little, little girl, girls team here. Very upsetting for them, I would imagine. I'm predicting that. It, we're going to see much, much more of this this summer. This is the pavilion at Warner Center Park. In the summertime, in this area back here, they have a huge stage, open uh, concerts on the green, they call it, or concerts in the park. I think they changed the name. He's pointing at me, showing her that there's people are filming, that people know who she is that she keeps interrupting. If she's the same woman I've recorded before, uh, she wouldn't let people in the restroom. She was cleaning up, washing, maybe don't know in her case, but uh, often there's uh, drug use, which I'm seeing more of in some of the supermarkets where someone will use the restroom for an hour and come out and just run out of the, run out of the grocery store. Police woman's getting um, getting her gloves, going through her stuff. She can't afford to be 
uh, put herself in jeopardy. Again, this policeman from Division 21, the Topanga Division, which is this part of Woodland Hills. This is the Warner Center area. All these buildings are Warner something or other. This is Warner Center Park. Corner of Topanga and Irwin, I believe, here. Yeah, Irwin. The other policeman is a female policeman. She's inside checking things out in there. She's got heavy gloves on. I think I saw her put on heavy gloves. He did ask her if he has, if she has anything sharp, horny, or a, any dangerous thing in her equipment there. Obviously they were going to search. I think they called it an asset search, don't know. I'm kind of half walking this bicycle up to the top of this. And uh, uh, I won't go down this way, it's a little messy, so I'll turn around. It's cool. I'm, I'll just turn around. Sorry, no, no, I'm going this way. You don't have to move anything. Right it's okay. I'm going this way. The object isn't to disturb people. The object is to figure out what can be done. And what right do we have? There's a question. Okay, we're on the other side here. The female policeman, woman, female officer. Pulling the stuff out of the stalls in the ladies' room. The officer's taking the time, so he's, he's, she's uh, really going through some stuff. Yeah, there we go. Blankets, etc. Those are heavy duty gardening gloves. They don't stop punctures. I know from gardening. Okay, this policewoman finished her search. She finished her search and I don't know what she's preparing. Maybe giving it back to him. Maybe releasing her. Uh, I'm wondering if all the police can do now is just put pressure on her. It's a public place, public park. Maybe she didn't find anything that required an arrest. But she was disturbing the peace and she's done it before, according to the reports. I'm barely an audible distance. Looks like they're getting her stuff ready to get handed to her. Took it out of the cart. Technically, it's not her cart. The carts throughout the San Fernando Valley are, it's astounding how many shopping carts there are. And I understand that some of the stores don't have any more because they're all been taken. See, so what they're doing here is, yeah, they're taking her away, putting all her stuff in. She's going someplace she doesn't want to go, and she'll be back. I've got a new addition to this kit. I got a past several several weeks, a month or so, I've been working on getting my ham radio license. And I'm currently bringing a ham radio kit with me with some frequencies that nearby repeaters and uh, some simplex that for safety hook up with other other people who are monitoring the neighborhood.
So in summary, uh, the woman, some woman that is well known to this area was in the ladies restroom, uh, locked herself in the stall, had all her stuff in there, and perhaps bathing, perhaps don't know if they were doing any drugs or anything like this, but they know who she is. And they've had several calls and they had to address this several times, repeat offender, and she's had a warrant out for the arrest. Police were very cordial. And there's two sides of that. They have to be. Because if they, if they aren't, it starts to kick them back when, they, when other people see this. But um, I usually get a, a say, hey, it's okay to record. So there's no question that they try to stop me from recording, which is big trouble. Thus far, this good. You see how far away I, I get. Little bit by little bit, I get closer. Maybe ask some questions. But they get to know me a little bit better. And uh, they look at my videos and they see not too much damage to the police. And uh, there we go. So that's it for this one. I'm in the Warner Center area, so I'll continue on. Onward and upward.